Hello out there to you. In this problem, I'm going to use algebra to calculate the equilibrium price and quantity, the consumer surplus, the producer surplus, and then we're going to add those together to get the total surplus. Okay, so uh, every market is at equilibrium when the quantity demanded, which is this one, is equal to the quantity supplied, which is this one. So this is the demand function, this is the supply function. Now you can pretty easily put these into a graphing calculator and do this, but I'm going to do this one algebraically uh, in case you don't have access to it uh, for whatever reason. Okay, so uh, basically we're going to write it, set it up this way, quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. So this is going to be 1200 minus 10p and P stands for price, equals 20P, okay? Add both sides, add 10P to both sides, and I get 1,200 equals 30P, and then divide 30 by both sides, and I get P equals, those go away, uh, I should get 40, okay? So the price in this market is 40. Uh, that is equilibrium price. I can plug this into either one. I'm going to plug it into both and solve for quantity. This will give me uh, what that equilibrium quantity is. So on the, it's easier to do quantity supplied. Quantity supplied is 20 times 40, and that gives us 800. And 800 units is the equilibrium quantity. We can do this on the demand side too, just to prove it to you, uh, 1,200 minus 10 times 40, so that's 400, that's also 800. See, 800 equals 800, so that's how we know we're at equilibrium. Okay, so uh, if I wanted to just quickly draw a little picture, I'll draw my line straight, uh, of what I'm talking about, okay, something more, more comfortable. So, so far, what we know, we know at equilibrium price is 40. We know that equilibrium quantity, yikes. Why I can't draw those straight, but that's okay. This is 800, okay? So the area here is the consumer surplus. The area here is the producer surplus. I'm going to do this uh, algebraically, though. So we know that we've got a linear situation. So we know that the consumer surplus is going to be one half. And what it is is the top of the demand curve. So whatever the most the consumers are willing to pay minus the price. Okay. So uh, and we know that the price in this market is 40. Okay. So the most they're willing to pay is the price when quantity is zero. So we can find that by sending this over here. And we're going to set quantity equal to zero. And so this is zero equals 1200 minus 10p. We're going to add 10p to both sides. So we've got 10p equals 1200 and then divide both sides by 10, this is 120. Okay, so this is 100, 120, okay? So the difference between this and this is 120 minus 40, so this whole thing here. And then we're gonna multiply this part by the difference in uh, quantity. So we're going from 0 to 800. So that's that's just 800. Okay. So this is 80 times 800 uh, and then one half of that. So let's get my calculator out here. 80 times 800 is 64,000 and then half of that is 32,000. So the consumer surplus answer here is 32 thousand and that makes sense because this is the area of this triangle here okay second one producer surplus producer surplus is going to be one half and this time it's it's 
where we need to see where the start of our supply curve goes. It's not necessarily at zero. Okay, so it would be 40 minus whatever this this number is here times 800, and then one half of that. So what we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put in uh, a quantity of zero, and in this particular problem, uh, zero would be 20p. And so if we divide both sides by 20, we basically get P of zero. So this, this problem, it is zero right here, okay? So it'd be 40 minus zero. So here, load up this guy, and we've got um, 40 times 800, 32,000, and then half of that is 16,000, 16,000 the producer surplus both of these by the way the units are in dollars or whatever currency you're using then i'm going to add for total surplus total surplus is just consumer surplus plus producer surplus so i'm going to add uh 32 000 plus 16 000, and i get 48 000 is the value of the total surplus which is the area of this entire triangle here so if you wanted if you were looking at it graphically which we're not we could we could calculate that whole thing except those those are supposed to be straight okay that's how to calculate consumer and producer surplus uh, algebraically